God is good all the time. First and foremost, I want to give God the glory and praise for this opportunity uh, to be here. And um, I also, pastors, I greet you in the matchless name of Jesus. As well as family, thank you for being here for my Godfather's um, celebration of life. Um, my testimony. Um, one thing I can remember is my grandfather, one was that he was a math teacher and um, he was a school bus driver. And I remember going on trips with him around the island. And another thing was that he was not only a math teacher, but this man right here was a, a teacher in the world. And in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, it says that some apostles, some evangelists, some prophets, some pastors and teachers were given to the ministry for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and the building of the church. And that, that's what, I, that's what I, I learned from this man. And I can recall one moment specifically that I took away from um, my moments with my grandfather, is that um, he left Hawaii in 06, and I remember the loving, caring man, and I came in 2013 for a football camp, and he wasn't the same. He was loving and caring, but he was a Seahawks fan, so I changed everything. <laughs> but praise God. But um, but I remember one thing before heading off to college was that um, he asked me how how was my walk with God? How was my walk with faith? Do you still carry the Bible? And I remember one thing was when he he took it upon himself. He was so proud that he shared with me his sermons that he made. And he told me, grandson, this is what I've done. And even at that age, there's no years that passed. The past the years from 06 all the way to when I went to college, he still was in the work for the ministry. And he, I was so happy that I was at all because he never changed. The Jesus that he served, the Jesus that he served is the same yesterday, to, today, and forever. And he didn't change. And I grew up because of this man's, his seed he sowed in my life. The word of God. The word of God always works. And what brought me to tears was to see his face when his own grandson was able to present his sermons that he's been preaching in Hawaii to you. And it was so proud to see that in him. And the awesome part of it was that when we were we were sharing with each other about um, just the years been passed and what how God how great God has been, that was so awesome. That even in our first greeting from the time this passed, the first thing we talked about was God. It wasn't how how are you how 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 how's the family. He wanted to talk about how God was in my life, family and friends. That's who this man is. He puts God first in everything. And the awesome part is that I can say is that this man here, he was a great branch attached to the true vine, that is Jesus Christ, who bare good fruits. In the book of John chapter 15, verse 5, it reads, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Amen. Ye can do nothing. And he taught me that. He's talking to you right before you like, he said, Sam, you always stay connected to the roots. That's taught in our Samoan culture, to always remember where you come from. And for this man to teach that, I never forgot, even when he left, because he knew, I knew I was connected to him by the Spirit of God. And he continued on. I'm so sorry, I am my grandfather's son. I love to share a lot of time and speak. <laughs> I remember it goes on, so from those fruits that came forth, seeds that gave birth to another great branch, and I am one of those great branches that my father produced. You are that great branch that my, my father has planted seeds into you. And the awesome part is that it says in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 45, it says that from a good man, out of the good treasures of his heart, come forth good things. And that's exactly what he's brought forth. I'm an example of so that I bring forth good news that he's in heaven. He's moved from glory to glory onto higher glory. And family, 
I, I, I just want to share this list for my closing, for my testimony, is that this. Is that no matter what seed that you plant, when Jesus, he talked about the, the parable of the seed scattering, either that's a seed of love, seed of peace, hope, money, or any type of seed that you plant. I'm going to tell you this. If it's rooted in the word of God, it will bring forth results. It will bring forth results. And what's so awesome is that it came around. And the last verse that I want to share with you guys is this. This is the reason why, this is why I believe that it brings forth results. Because in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 10 and 12, it says, For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, not watereth, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. Whatever you are, the man, this man, if he, he come into contact, I guarantee he planted a seed in you. And that seed is not just to be set, just to sit and wither. No, it's to prosper wherever you are. And the last verse of it, in the last half, it says, For well, ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. Grandpa, I'm going to tell you this. It was morning to know the day that he passed on to high glory, but you're going out with joy. And that we here, to know that you're in heaven, we can lead with peace. And we thank you, family. I love you all. And continue to love each other. In the name of Jesus, amen.